Hi there, Tad Hargrave from marketingforhippies.com and I'm here with the next edition of The Niching Nest. Uh, these are going through the book and just sharing some of my thoughts on the ideas. Uh, so this one is idea number three. We're on, uh, your niche is defined by these three things. Uh, should be your wounds, your gift, and your nature. I did a, a bigger video about this, which I'll put a link to below, but let me see if I can come up with a, <clears throat> a rendition maybe of uh, thoughts I've had since. So these three things, your wounds, your gifts, and your nature. These things, especially for service providers in the healing industry, these things can combine very well. So when I say your wound, uh, what I mean is these are the places you've struggled and you've overcome. Anything that you've had a hard time with and you've you know, uh, gotten to the other side of you, learned something about, you have a very natural capacity to uh, to help other people with. If you've been somebody who's always collapsed you know, and uh, shrunk down, had a hard time saying no and setting boundaries, and then you learned how to do that, you're gonna be able to help people. If you've struggled with shame your whole life and now you're not trapped by that anymore, you're gonna have something very special to offer. So the, the sort of the kernel, the seed of your work, the basic uh, impetus of it, the, the heart of it is often set by something you didn't know how to do, and now, now you know how to do it. Uh, it's very often true that the de your deepest wounds are often a doorway to your truest niche. So that's the first thing. So your wounds, your gifts. There are certain things you're just good at. Naturally, you're, you're born uh, with a certain proclivity towards, comes very easily to you. Some people are really good at administration and organizing. Some people are very good at connecting people and, and, uh, or hosting people. Some people are very good at um, speaking. Some people are good at designing. Th you know, everyone's got different, different strengths. And so the shape of what you do will probably be um, formed by and informed by what your gifts are. It's a strange idea to build a niche around your weaknesses. You know, if you're an introvert, to have your work be based on you doing networking. It would seem so counterintuitive. Or vice versa, if you're a big extrovert and then you create your business model based on you sitting behind a computer by yourself all the time, it doesn't make a ton of sense. The third one, your nature. It's just meaning, <coughs> sorry, Meaning you've got a little, you've got a particular vibe. Yeah, you've got a particular uh, way about you. And maybe this is more where the, the introvert thing would come in. You're very introverted or you're extroverted. You are, um, you're very passionate or you're very calm. You're very nerdy or you're very rock and roll. You know, a lot of us are kind of born with a certain type of nature to us. Anyone who's had... You know, multiple kids, you start to see it right away with these children. There's something about them. They're bringing a certain personality. And with that, boy, if you can't fix it, feature it. Trying to work against our nature is, is so, um, I don't know, foolish to do in terms of figuring out your niche. So when you, we, you weave those three things together, they often give a very good general sense. You know, the, the so you've struggled in a place. Okay, well, that's the type of work or that's what, what to help people with. Uh, for a service provider, uh, particularly in the healing arts. Then there's your uh, gifts. So that might be the, the structure or the form in which you do the work. And then there's your nature, and that's going to be the vibe of the work. <clears throat> so there are a ton of examples of this. But, you know, I'd invite you to think about yourself. You know, what have you overcome? What are your gifts? What are you particularly uh, good at? And is your business built in such a way that it honors that? You know, I love speaking in front of people. I love being on stage. Other people don't. They'd much rather sit in a circle or just work one-on-one. -on -one. So we have different gifts in different ways. I know people who are incredibly talented <clears throat> from the stage, and they're awful facilitators, for example. Or vice versa. They're a great facilitator, but they can't speak well on stage. Some people are very good at one-on-one. -on -one. Other people are better at working with groups. And... So you see what I'm saying? We all have these different gifts. And is your business set up in such a way that it maximizes that? And then, uh, and then your nature. Is your business allowing your real nature to, to shine through? It often doesn't. I see so many times where people basically pretend to be something that they're not. 
because they think that will be more acceptable. They're a very passionate person, but they do hypnosis or you know around relaxation. And so they put out this very peaceful image on their website, but that's not them. Or they're just very nerdy, but you couldn't tell that from their website. They're very bookish, but they try to come across as something else. They're more of a, I don't know, uh, <coughs> just they're, they're someone who's local. They haven't traveled very much, but they try to present themselves as worldly or, or all these things. So you just have a certain nature about you. You're very sensitive, perhaps, but you try to present yourself as tough. Or you're, you're kind of tough and brash, but you try to present yourself as a, you get the idea. So you, these three things, it's good to just, you know, you can divide a, you can do a little Venn diagram with these three and put some notes in each and then just look at that overlap in the middle of all three circles and you just start to wonder, what does this all say about what my niche might be in the world? So, of course there's more to niching, but this is one uh, useful lens I found. I hope that's uh, helpful for you. And uh, we'll be back probably next week with idea number four. Take care.